description templates. Description templates were updated in Edge version 21.1, .1, which was released in February of 2021. Description templates allow you to override the default text that will show up when you hit the suggest buttons on an item record. There is one system option that is tied to description templates. That is under administrative system options, and it's in the inventory section of system options. Suggest updates all templates. There are multiple templates that you can create for an individual item. There's item description, there's appraisal description, there's tag description, web category, and web description. This system option controls whether those are all updated at once when you hit the suggest tab on the general tab. You can either set that to do not, which will only update when you hit the corresponding suggest buttons, automatically fill in always, when you hit the suggest button on the general tab, will automatically fill in all the other description templates you've created, or fill in if empty. When you hit the suggest button on the general tab, it will fill in any of the fields that are empty based on your templates. You can set that how you'd like. To actually work with description templates, that is done in categories. Every category can have its own individual description template. So if we go to inventory, categories, list, that will bring up a list of all of our categories, and we can choose a category to work on. In the category, there is a tab for description templates. Description templates can be created for item descriptions, web titles, web descriptions, item appraisal, and item tag. Looking at the screen, everything on the left are the fields that can be added to your description template. Those fields come from the item details whether it's the category details, which includes gender, description, category name, item fields, which are generic to all categories, which are gonna be the category ID, the vendor ID, the vendor name, the vendor style number, the vendor style note and location, the item detail fields. The item detail fields are gonna be specific to each category. That actually comes from the details tab on the category. There's two separate groups and whatever you have filled in, will show up on the description template. So I have style, metal, color, finish, and ring size under my detail group one. So when we look at the description template, you'll see my details fields, group one, is style, metal, color, finish, ring size. If this was a chain category, I'd have length here. So you'll have options for both detail groups. And then by default, you'll only have primary stone. Every category will have the option of primary stone and primary stone will be all the details from the stones tab. If this is a category that carries more than one stone, you can add stone details by clicking the add stone. So if this is a category that normally has four different lines on the stones tab, I can choose stone two, stones three, and stones four to be as part of my descriptions. To create a description, let me get rid of what's already in here. All you need to do is pick a field from the left and choose it. So if I wanted to start my description off with a metal, if I click on metal, I can either double click here, which will bring it over, or I can hit insert and it will bring that field over also. Based on this checkbox, you'll either bring over the value of the field or the value and the label. My value box was checked, so the two fields I brought over, which were color and metal, will only show the color and the metal. If I was to uncheck this box and bring over the same field, so if I wanted to bring over metal again, you'll notice that my second one actually has the label and the value. So it actually says metal colon platinum. Any text you type that is not within a brackets will always show in that description. So if I was to put edge sig 
That's your collection. That would always show at the beginning of all of my descriptions. It's not based on a field. It will just be the initial description in my description template. When you are using a value only, and we know it's a value only because it has the double brackets in the beginning and the end, anything you put in between the brackets will only show if that field is available. So this is my color. Let's go to metal. So I'm going to get rid of the one that is not value only. So right now, this platinum is coming from this field. So if I want to say made in, if I put that label in between the two brackets, it will show made in platinum. But that made in will only show up in the description if the metal is filled in on the item. So any text outside of a bracket will always show. Any text that is in between the two brackets of a value only field will only show if that value exists. Creating an item template for description will allow you to rearrange the order and the words that are included when you hit that suggest button. So I'm going to go and I'm going to complete an item description template for this category. So if I filled in a new description for this category, the default description in an item record would normally say ladies yellow platinum engagement ring with one and continue the description. But if you've noticed, I've changed my description so it starts with color and metal. It does not have a gender discriminator in it because I didn't put the gender in there. If I wanted the gender in the front, I can click into the front of that and I can insert gender and now it would say ladies. Now, because I didn't click value only, it says gender ladies. I can fix that by just putting another bracket around it instead of removing it and adding a new one with value only checked. But now, instead of the generic description that would normally fill in for my diamond engagement rings, this will be my description that shows up. That is how you update an item description template. If I was to go into an item now in my engagement ring category, this is the generic description that originally was taken before I created my template. So if I'm to hit suggest now, this is the new description that will come in with all of my new details that I added to my description template. If you have your edge connected to a website, you also have a website tab on your item record. The web title and the web description can have templates created for it. So when you're adding that information, instead of you having to type it all the time, you can actually have it fill in when you hit the suggest button. To do this, on the category, you would choose web title. Web title will fill in the web title section. So right now, what I have printing is style, so the style of the piece, and the category description. These are value onlys, so it's going to show just the style and my generic description from the category. So in this case, antique engagement. If I want it to be a little more romantic, I can add I can add descriptors in front of that. And again, it will only print beautiful if style is filled in. The other web template we have is web description. Just like any of the other templates, we can choose our fields from the left and build a description that will go up to our website. So on the website, I may want to have a description and then list out the details. So I've done that here by choosing different fields. Now, sometimes we may want it to appear more of a table online like most other websites do. So we can actually create a description template that in between our value brackets, we can actually put our HTML for the website. So I've gone through and I've added some HTML into my actual description template. And again, most of my HTML is in between my brackets, so it doesn't show. 
It's just, you, it doesn't happen unless there's a value there. So what we'll do is we'll save this. I'm gonna go over to my item record and I am on my website tab. So now when I hit suggest, it is going to build my web title and my description. And again, my description is including my HTML. The edge will not reformat this based on the HTML. However, when we bring this up to a website, it will look differently. If we were to look at that description on a website, it would have the description up top, and then in a table below, it would have the actual labels and the information to the right. So it gives me some ability to adjust the way that description looks on the website. That's how you would add a description category and web description template. To create an item appraisal template, you would still be under the description template for the category. And just like our other templates, you would choose the fields on the left that you want to add to the description. Again, when you click on a field, if the value only is checked, you will just get the value. If that is unchecked, you will get the label and the value. So again, my top row here is all just labels, so ladies, platinum, and gauge ring. Then I have all my fields with their labels. So five karat total weight, shape emerald, type diamond, hue color, clarity, lab, report number, crown percentage, crown, depth percentage, and fluorescence. Once you've set this up, if you go to your item record and you go to pre-appraise and you hit suggest, it will build your description as you've made it in your description template. The last of the templates is the item tag template. In order to use the tag template, on the actual tag layout, one of your fields needs to be chosen as tag template. Once you do that, under description templates, you would create what you want to print on the tag. So I have metal color, metal, and style. So yellow, platinum, antique. So if this is what I want to print on the tag, I would save that. And now whenever I'm in inventory and I look at the tag for that, it will have that information on the tag. Now again, if you've turned on the system option, when you hit suggest on the general tab, not only will it fill in this description with the templates, but it will go through each of the others and fill in the tag, the pre-appraise, and the title and web descriptions. Description templates gives you more control over how you want your inventory to print internally and also how you want it to look on your website. Again, description templates are available in Edge 21.1 or higher.